Good morning guys, Scotty here. It's October 6th today, a little breezy, a little in the shade. You want to have a jacket on, but out in the sun it's actually not too bad. I don't actually know the temperature. It's obviously warm enough, the bees are all flying. Um, I was back in a whole bunch of nukes, uh, two, four, six, eight, about ten nukes and two ten frame colonies back on September 17th. Uh, late swarm, late splits, some crazy stuff I got going on. Um, at that time I had saw queens and all of these nukes I'm going to get back into today. Uh, they all had queens that looked like they were mated but I didn't see any eggs or any larvae. Um, it was nice that week, probably had about four nice days, then it's been raining and cold and, and not very nice here. Um, like I say, this morning it's probably only about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. The sun is out, it's actually really nice, the bees are flying good. I'm going to pop back into a whole bunch of nukes and possibly two 10 frame colonies. Actually, maybe four 10 frame colonies. Got a couple of, uh, anyway, got some other stuff in the other year too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be marking queens today. Um, I'm going to grab the marking pen and have, it's blue, right? Yeah, it's blue. Um, yeah, I really don't know how much time I actually want to spend. One second. Cover cloth, quiet box. Okay. Feeder jar, forgot it was there. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to catch these queens and mark them if they are laying. So I don't know how much time I want to spend. We'll see, uh, we'll see what kind of a mood they're in. Um, yeah, if they're a little bit cranky, I'm not going to waste my time. But we'll see. Uh, I do have that camera ring. So a few bees on the inner cover. And... I also have a whole bunch of honey that I'm going to give to some of these colonies. Uh, at the very least, I'm going to throw a frame of honey there. This is a whole frame of honey. A little wee bit of, little wee bit of cap stuff there. The rest of this is open. I've got a whole bunch of stuff polished there for a queen. Um, this frame here, they're working on drawing the wax, but it's got some weight, so something going on here. And there's brood here. Good. Okay. I've got some, let me set that down. Oh, and there's our queen right there. I've got some cat brood here and a bunch of larvae and stuff. Uh, nice caramel, the black tip. You know what, guys? <laughs> Get that marker pen going here. Bunch of larvae there. Not going to be a big winter cluster, that's for sure. Let's have a look at this last frame. This is honey, and that's one of those frames that's tight. I'm not even taking that out. All right, where was she? She's on the other side. Yeah. Okay. So I got to be a little careful pushing that frame over. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm going to go get a frame of honey for this one. Um, and then I think actually I'm going to add a second box of honey to this. I should probably do them. Should I just do them all? No, it's going to happen, eh? I'm going to get around the whole bee yard and I'm going to forget. I'm going to go get a whole bunch of honey for this one right now. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll bring you back when we get into those other ones. 
All right, guys, I wrote down on my book that I caught that queen and marked her. I switched that to two green pins. I took that frame of foundation that was in the bottom, got rid of that. I moved that one frame of honey over, and I dropped in a nice, clean frame of drawn foundation for that queen to have another place to lay. Then I added uh, three frames of honey, I think, to the top, and another drawn frame, and the feeder jar is put back on. Let's jump into Nuke 25. Again, I'm going to have to change the feeder jars. And let's see, I've got to grab my, get everything set up, sorry guys, let me grab my quiet box. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. A few more bees, by the looks of it. I got that stuck down, that's nice. Okay, let's give them a little wee bit of, let's give them a little bit of smoke. Sometimes in the cooler weather, I find the smoke doesn't help as much. I was putting feeder jars on yesterday morning, and it was actually quite chilly. And the smoke just does not have hardly any effect at all when it's cold. Okay. At least there isn't a frame of foundation in this one. I, I did go around all the nukes there a couple weeks ago, and I was trying to get rid of all the foundation, but obviously... Alright, so this is just... Got that camera running. Sun's shining pretty good here, guys. Can't quite see. That's mostly capped. And some open honey there. I've got a little wee bit of space on this one, but again, it's mostly just... It's just honey. This one's got a little bit bigger population than that one. And uh, a little bit more stores by the looks of it. This frame here is not fully drawn. They've got capped honey in the upper corner and they're just working on the rest of this frame. Again, this frame here, it's not fully drawn. It's quite a uneven. They've got some pollen stored too. That's good. Maybe I was a little hasty. <laughs> I might be doing some more uniting here. Maybe I should hold off on doing what I did on that other one. Yes, perhaps I was a little hasty. I'm smelling lemons. I'm fanning. No sign of the queen. There's no there's no eggs. Check that other side, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna have a look see if the queen is still here, but there's no eggs, there's no larvae. That one there had cat brood. I know that these two queens should have been the same age. They were both virgin queens that I pulled out of Hive 2 when it swarmed. I may be simply taking these four frames of bees and adding them to that one is what I may end up doing here. Oh, let's look see if there is a queen running around here though. But they are fanning. Good indication that there is no queen here. A couple drones still here. That's also it's also a good indication that they have an issue. They're not kicking out all their drones, thinking that they've got, or they know they've got a problem, so they hang on to their drones. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. Now, normally, normally I wouldn't. I would leave this and I would come back and check it. You know, at least two or three more times, maybe over the course of three days. Um, but it is getting so late. I'm like literally a couple of weeks away from freeze up here. Actually, two or three nights ago it froze again. We've already had, uh, actually it was a couple of weeks back we had a frost. That's when that swarm that way up in that spruce tree over there perished. I think that was the 18th of September, I think. Um, and it froze here just a few nights ago again. So I am almost out of time. I'm going to take these bees and I'm going to unite it to that. And then, uh, or I could hold off. Oh, gee, decisions. <laughs> decisions on the fly. Okay. Um, yeah, I've already kind of... Although that one doesn't have very big population of bees. That's what I'm going to do. Make a decision and go with it. Eh? So I need to... I need to move them into a box that has no bottom. A, a 
Nuke Super or a Vent Box, same thing. There's a good number of bees inside here. I'm just going to scan that in case I'm wrong. But, all right, let's get that one apart. Am I in the camera? Yeah, it will be. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to get this back off again. I guess I was a little too hasty on uh, putting this together. A few bees have already run up there. Don't I? I'll get frames in that one. Okay. Nope. I gotta get the bees out of here. Ay, ay, ay. Put that on there. Now this one here, I'm gonna have a bunch of bees coming back to here, so I want to get rid of this. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just gonna set it over here on the ground on its side. And then I've got to get the bees out of here. They're all looking at this and saying, wow, honey, where'd that come from? <laughs> Watch for my queen. Uh, I'm going to have a problem. Okay, let's put this in. Let's just put this in here for now. Quick scan just in case the queen ran up here, but I'm sure she wouldn't have. All right, what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this down here and I'm just going to put those frames back in and then cover it up. I may use this. I may use this on the next the next one I go to. But yeah, I've got to keep it covered. Keep the bees out of it. Ah, let's put it on top of this roof so nothing can get in from the bottom. And then I uh, get a I'm put an inner cover on it, I guess. There's a few bees in there, but that'll be all right. And I'm going to put a cover cloth on it as well. Alright, this is going to be crazy for a while. There'll be a lot of bees come here, but they're going to end up milling around. They'll end up milling around and going back into there. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, did I put that feeder jar back? I think I did. Yes, I did. Get out of there, you. Now, of course, there's possibility that they're going to fight but I, like I say it's getting it's so late in the season I got to make some decisions and just go with it I do have a mark queen in there uh, if they kill her well we'll know you know if I get back in here later and I still have my mark queen well it's fine I've united noose like this hundreds of times no issue all right I'm gonna turn these cameras around and I got two more right there that we need to look at so let's do that